Hello everybody, I'm uh, Luca Ferranti and I will present my talk Build your computation thinking like course for the greater good. The, the title is uh, Easter Egg, it's a reference to a great learning resource. Let me know if you guess where it's from. So, uh, what is the motivation for this? What am I doing? Uh, how many of you know the computational thinking with, with Julia Clasto at MIT? Okay, uh, how many of you learned Julia with that? Okay, uh, how many of you wished uh, uh, that class would be available when they learned Julia? So wish they could have learned Julia with that. Cool, fantastic. And that's exactly my motivation. So. Uh, there was uh, taught at MIT, now for a few years, this uh, computational thinking with Julia class. No idea what the red banner is there, wasn't there this morning. But uh, yeah, so it was taught at MIT this class. Uh, it uses Pluto, it uses Julia, has been a huge uh, success. And uh, my thought was basically, oh, that's cool, I want it. And I wanted to use the same for my class, for my teaching. So what I did, I taught a class on fuzzy logic this year. You can see it here. The website looks the same, a bit less content maybe. But... Um, yeah, I started building this class, uh, uh, this website, uh, and first uh, I was doing it manually, so I was uh, reverse engineering, modifying the HTML, and then I realized, uh, ah, yeah, but if I ever need to teach another class, uh, I am at square one again, or square zero if you're a Python person. And also, this doesn't help other people in the world, it only helps me. So I decided, okay, let's take the website, uh, let's uh, reverse engineer that, and let's make a template uh, usable for everyone. And yeah, that's uh, what I did, and that's what I'm talking about today. So the template is available at uh, here. It's called, uh, well, Computational Thinking Template. And I will briefly like give an overview of the features and a short uh, live demo, hopefully, of uh, how it works. And then also some discussion and future work of what's on the road. So yeah, that was my motivation in a nutshell. The computational thinking with Juliet MIT was great. Everyone should be able to uh, do that. And uh, if you think about the work of teaching, there's already a lot of work like in making the teaching material engaging, pedagogically sound, and so on and so on. And that uh, should be the only thing that teachers worry about. So the goal of the template is to abstract out all sorts of infrastructure stuff, uh, tooling stuff, uh, CI, CD, and all those fancy like acronyms uh, so that teachers can focus on the most important thing teaching and uh, making the teaching material engaging and computationally sound. Yeah. And uh, features at the moment, so it's uh, hopefully easy to customize, uh, depends I guess a bit on your level of patience, uh, and uh, it automatically beats the whole website, uh, so the goal is that you simply write the teaching material as Pluto Notebook or as Markdown file, you dump them in a folder and then boom, bada bim bada boom, everything else happens automatically. And now, the moment of truth. So if you don't believe me, let's have a live demo and let's see how it goes. So uh, this live demo, it's not exactly like the like full experience, the full workflow. I had to simplify a couple of stuff for the sake of time. But uh, the idea is that you go here. Uh, this is not even a template repository at the moment. So you just clone the repository. And then uh, uh, you, ra you open it, you open the repository somewhere, and then you can start developing with uh, Julia uh, develop.gl, and this will build the website, which uh, we have now here. So this is like the template. So we have coolness 101, uh, short catchy phrase, uh, thought that, uh, oh, I had the Easter egg about the university somewhere, whatever. And now let's see if we want to change the class. So suppose we have just uh, cloned the template and we want to start editing. We have a underscore data folder here, which allows to edit the, the basic information of the class. So we have a course information.gl, which is a dictionary with basic information. And I can edit, for example, a subtitle. Uh, this class teaches something cool. My code, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, semester, Today, let's save it. Uh, I realized today actually the files in data, in the uh, subfolder data, are not automatically tracked. But what we can do, we can go to the dashboard. So when I start developing, it will open uh, the website and the dashboard. Now let's uh, refresh this. Now you see, this class teaches uh, something cool. And uh, the the semester is today with the code one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, cool. Now, how does it work? Let's look what it looks like. So we have a set of tracks uh, and I can change track. Uh, and uh, when I select a specific track, it only highlights uh, the pages uh, which are in the track. Uh, 
uh, I can search from the website uh, and I can structure in modules uh, and uh, in lectures, yeah. How does that happen? Well, uh, basically uh, we have a sidebar.gl here, so it's yeah. uh, sidebar.gl where we can specify each module. So here like module one, module two, and so on. A tracks.gl where we specify the tracks. And then if we look at the files, at the lecture itself, so what the teachers would teach, let's take this one for example, we see on top uh, we have a set of metadata. And now the only thing you need to do to build the website is to fill this metadata like properly. Arguably, if you don't fill it properly, it will, uh, not, it will scream at you a bit badly and could be a bit better, the error handling, fair enough. But uh, yeah, so we specify what layout we want to use. And now if we want to say that uh, this lecture belongs to module one, we simply add in the list of tags module one. If I want to move this uh, to module two, and maybe I want to change the order so that it doesn't collapse, so like the fourth lecture in module two, let's save. Now this uh, should refresh automatically, where is it? Yep. And now uh, we see that, uh, uh, what file did I move? I forgot what I moved, getting started. Oh, it's still here, let's refresh. Yeah, that's what happens when you do live demos. This is locally, right? Yeah, this is locally, I'm running locally. Uh, there's also action to generate the website on CI, so there's an action so that when you push to GitHub, it uh, builds automatically the website, and it also builds a preview on pull request uh, so that you can check what it looks like before you merge. Okay, oh, it's not moving, I'm not sure why, but it happened. D don't modify live, uh, modify before your lecture, not during your lecture, that's the lesson <laughs> that I wanted to show you here, yeah. So, yeah, uh, so this was a very quick demo. I'm running out of type at the time, but uh, key, uh, key um, take home lessons. Uh, the template wants to make uh, building the website as easy as possible. So you just build individual files as Markdown if you don't need code, as Pluto Notebook. Uh, in Pluto Notebook, you actually uh, um, set uh, from the UI the metadata, and then it builds everything for you. Uh, there are a few improvements, and come to talk to me at the hackathon if you want to work with me on that, I'll do that like make the process a bit more robust, better error message, and better interactivity. All right. And that's all, folks. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Do we have any questions? Yeah. Questions for Luca? I can save you maybe a bit of time. If, you, if your question starts with the can you, the answer is probably no at the moment, but feel free to ask. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm uh, repeating the question for the video. Is uh, homework integration planned or already there? Uh, yes, there is uh, some homework integration already. Uh, so if you look, for example, here at the website, uh, if you have some ho homework, you can simply like uh, put homework in the tag and then it has a separate numbering and uh, separate uh, handling. So it handles homeworks. Uh, I'm planning also some integration with PlutoGrader.gl, which I presented in uh, December in Eindhoven. It, it's not integrated yet, but that's coming too. Uh, so this uh, plutocreator.gl separate package, which is presented in the December in Eindhoven, that's exactly to handle that. So it's uh, this library to like automatically grade the homework and uh, give uh, feedback to the homeworks to the students. So that's library uh, handles exactly that. Uh, there's, I mean, it should work in way because you can use plutocreator is very terminal based at the moment, uh, so you could use that, but uh, there's no integration to make it smoother into the template. So that's also a future development point. All right, we have to keep moving forward, so thanks, Luke, again.